What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Logical, and I'm back, as promised, with another top five video. And this video, like I said, is going to be the top five best moments from my childhood. Because I do have a special surprise for you guys at the end. Screw it. I'm just going to. I'll let you guys know what the video. I'll let you guys see. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Corelogical's my handle. Yeah. Keep it lit like a candle. Yeah. Yeah. Like my yeah. 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 Number one. I know I'm not the only one who had this moment. It was very rare in everyone's childhood because you know how parents can be, you know, stubborn and mean when it comes to this particular one thing. Going to the store and when you get to the checkout aisle, your parents actually let you get something. There was one day, me and my mom, we went to Walmart, of course, we got groceries, get to the checkout line, and my favorite thing to eat, like candy-wise, is Reese's. Reese's Pieces, Reese's Cups, Reese's Ice Cream. I'm on all that shit. That shit is fine. It's fuck and I love it. Me versus some Reese's? I'm on Reese's bumper. You feel me? Like, we, I'm on your ass. This one particular day we got in the line, you know what I'm saying? I'm helping her, you know. I made sure throughout this store visit I was a good boy. I didn't look at none. I ain't touch none. You know, that's usually what they say. And I'm just like, you know what? It's, it's all gonna pay off in the end. Let me just ease my mind. And we get to that checkout line. Lo and behold, I mustered up my courage and prepared for that potential, you know, slap. When I walked over there and grabbed candy, I grabbed it and I looked at her. I was like, can I get this, please? I think it was mainly because I said, please. But I was like, can I get this, please? And she was like, you know what? Fine. And she grabbed it and she put it on there. And when I tell you, my entire soul lit up because I wasn't used to her just giving in so easily. Oh, man. The best way I could describe that moment would probably be like when you like taste something with melted cheese on it for the first time and then somebody tells you yeah you do this all the fucking time 15 to 20 seconds man and half up is like oh shit that was it number one getting something when you go to the grocery store so move it up now we on number two number two is something that i especially like and it helped mold me into the man i am today and this one i know everybody else is gonna enjoy well mainly guys which is the Saturday cartoons, man, yes. Oh man, every Saturday morning, waking up, you know what I'm saying, eating me a big ass bowl of cereal. My favorite network that I used to watch was 4Kids TV. And they had like, it was a lot of like Shonen Jump type stuff. They had this one particular thing that was in the Shonen Jump, it was called Shaman King. And Shaman King and fucking Sonic X was my shit. I am 25 years old to this day. I still know every word to the Sonic X song. And then at nighttime, when Adult Swim came on, you know Adult Swim usually like Sunday through like Friday, they play like Family Guy and Robot Chicken and all that other crazy shit. But no, my G, on Saturdays, that's when the animes was lit. And I ain't talking about like this bullshit that they play now, not bullshit, but you know what I'm saying, like One Piece and stuff like that. Nah, fam, I'm talking about Case Closed, Trigon, Lupin the Third, Cowboy Bebop, Bo 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 bo, even though that show was never talking about shit. Shin Chan, Yu Yu Hakusho, Full Metal Alchemist, y'all niggas don't know. Y'all don't figure, deal me. That was, man, y'all don't know. Them was the greats. Them was the original. Trigon is still, to this day, one of my favorite fucking animes. That was my shit. And when I tell you I got to spend my whole Saturday just watching all the great Saturday cartoons, it was like, I'm telling you, Saturday, to me, those shows always oh, shaped me into the great man that I am today. That was number two. So moving on, number three. This is another thing that rarely happened, you know, what I'm saying you and your parents driving home from wherever y'all just came from and you look up and you see those golden arches about a half a mile down the road and you light up as a kid because you're like, yeah, McDonald's, Happy Meals, Wonder. toys, Wonder. yeah. But mom and daddy usually ain't having that shit. But for some reason, once again, I've been a good boy. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I eat all my vegetables, clean up, do my little chores and all of that stuff. I've been a good boy this week. It sounds so weird saying as a 25 year old man. Anyway, I've been a good boy this week. Bigger deal me. Mom would see the smile on my face from McDonald's and then turn around. She knew I wanted to ask, but she thought I was too scared too from all the other no's that she gave me. But guess what? I've been a good boy. Mom, close mouth don't get fed. That was what you taught me. So guess what I'm gonna do? Mama, can we stop at McDonald's? And she looks at me, she looks at them arches, she looks back at me and goes, fine. 
And once again, soul melts. Because I ain't used to hearing a yes and she gave it to me. Praise be to the gods. But I'm loving it, pun intended. <clears throat> And I was so happy, man. She let me go to McDonald's. And at me, I grew up to be like sort of a fat kid, so I don't really like fuck with Happy Meals and stuff like that no more. I didn't care about the toys too much like that. I used to make my own toys. I'm different. But yeah, so I didn't care about the toys. I used to ask to get me a little cheeseburger and the medium fry because, you know, growing boy and shit. And that was it. That was number three. So moving on. All right, number four. Owning my job, but for my birthday, I usually didn't really get much, if anything at all, because my birthday is December 31st, so it's right after Christmas. But I didn't really care because it was after Christmas, so I pretty much just got a bunch of shit anyway. I was grateful with what I did have. So I didn't really ask for nothing on my birthday, but this one particular day, my mom decided to bake me a cake. And I was so, so very happy because I knew what that meant. In the midst of her baking my cake, you feel me? A brother was gonna get to lick the spoon. You feel me? Once again, I'm a 25 year old man and these euphemisms are killing me. Anyway, best moment of my life. Either the spoon or the little like fucking twirly things that go inside of like, you know, that they use for the fucking, the shit, man. Y'all know, y'all niggas know what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all figure, deal me? That was my shit. I fucking love licking the spoon. Pause is, oh man. I can't even use words to describe it. I just know. It's like melting in your mouth. I gotta fucking stop, Jesus Christ. All right, moving on. So yeah, that was a number uh, four. So boom, we gonna move on to motherfucking number five. Every kid has done this. I know I'm not the only one, unless you like hella rich. I don't know if they did that in like rich ass neighborhoods. Motherfucking ice cream truck, nigga. I was on that truck's Bumper fam, they was not ready for me. On oh, oh God, they weren't ready for me. I was there. I hear that, uh, that, that hear that tune lit as fuck. You be dancing. Boy, that was my shit. I'm telling you, ice cream truck thing meant turn up, meant ice cream, meant money, and meant. Happy motherfucking Corological. That's what that shit meant. I was on that truck bumper. They had the push pops. They had the UFOs. They had the fucking Star Spangled Banner, like rocket fucking shits. They had the um, Snickers and like the candy bar ice cream, stuff like that. They had the drumsticks. My favorite, the Looney Tunes shits. The Looney Tunes shits was off the chain. And after everybody else got finished eating, they bum ass fucking ice cream. You was the only one that still had candy after your shit because it came with the bubble gum. Granted, the bubble gum was the eyes and them bitches was like never on point for no fucking reason at all. It'd be one eye up here, the other eye down here, but the whole snack still flames. If anybody tell you otherwise, tell them to shoot the motherfucking fade. You feel me? Shit was bomb as hell. That was a... That was, that was my childhood, top out this, you know I mean? And now on to the surprise. So, I have been working on music, you know what I'm saying, for the channel as well, and before I started doing videos and stuff like that, I was always making music. So now, I'm getting back into it, I've got my rhythm going as far as, you know, taking care of videos and stuff like that, as long as nothing comes in the way within the week. So, I'm on it with y'all. And yesterday, I made a fire as fucking song spitting flames y'all man i was on that you feel me i'm gonna drop that song on soundcloud today and i'm gonna give you guys like a little snippet a little preview at the end of the video you know what i'm saying i'm gonna cut half the song off and just let you guys hear a little verse or like a piece of a verse and then i'm gonna just you know what i'm saying if you like it go on ahead to soundcloud download that you know what i'm saying and i'm starting a new a uh, new thing that's associated with just for your boy. I had a couple friends. Well, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember the light skinned chick was in the vlogs, Pierce. She's always calling us lame because we talk about nerdy stuff like adults, like anime and all of that stuff. I decided to embrace it, you know what I'm saying? I even got my Japanese stuff on my on my clothes. Fuck no, I don't know what none of that shit means, bitch. Yeah, so I decided to embrace the lame. And now anybody who's down with your boy Core Logical. We are now known as the motherfucking Lane Gang. As anytime you watch the videos, you know what I'm saying? 
That's why I'm gonna, that's why I'm gonna address y'all as y'all the lame gang. If you vibe with me, folks out there calling you lame, you ain't cool, nerd, all that shit. Fuck them. Come on over here, join the lame gang. Feel me? Get, get down with the gang. Not bad gangs like Bloods and Crips. Those are dangerous. We, we nerdy over here. We watch, we play video games, we watch cartoon, and we eat fucking Looney Tunes ice cream and break our jaws on the gum. That's what we do. So you know, lame gang, get with it. Peace. Got a Glock in my raw Nah, I'm lying I would apologize but I never say sorry no. Turn up on drugs, we party That's really not me, that's squad It's a lame gang, hope you niggas don't think We cool, I beg your pardon Corelogical, that artist Ellis rap out, I'm godly Killing these niggas on sight If you want that plight, you could be a target I